Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the Euro 2024 DLC for EAFC. Today we're going to be doing a run with Turkey today. So Turkey, of course, had their best finish in Euro 2008. They finished fourth in the tournament and could have easily gone to the final. You know, that magnificent game against Croatia, uh, the game against the Czech Republic in the group stage. I remember it so well. I remember as well, Turkey scored long shots in that tournament pretty much. I'm fairly sure they scored a long shot against the Czech Republic and then did the same against Croatia. So let's see what we can do in this run. We have to randomize it. So in three, two, one, boom. And Turkey are in a group with Ireland, Belgium and Spain. Okay, a little bit of a tricky group, but I hope that Turkey can get out of it. You know, we're starting to do randomised runs now and um, spice things up a little bit. Look at Group A. Norway are in a massive group of death there. There's only a few names that I do actually recognise. Um, I recognise this Uno guy up top. Gula, of course, as well. I do recognise him. And um, Kalanogu as well, of course. All recognise him, you know. No, he's the highest rated player on the squad. Um, where is he now? Is he still at Milan? Like one of the Milans? Or has he moved on from Milan? I can't remember. This dude here as well. Um, you know, I have heard of him. I can't pronounce the name. Soyunku? Is that how you say it? I've heard of him before. Um, but the rest, I can't really say too much. To be honest with you, I'm not really knowledgeable with my Turkish football. As with most of my football knowledge, to be fair, it's not that brilliant. Our first match is against Ireland. In Euro 2020, they were tipped as the Dark Horses, but then completely just failed in Euro 2020. I don't know what happened to Turkey in that tournament. So maybe they can actually live up to their expectations in this upcoming tournament and they still got past me despite all my attempts to try and tackle them a lot of people have picked up on the fact that this game is just um just really hard to defend on i feel like the ai pretty much like uses a lot of exploits and cheats against you most of the time so yeah it doesn't feel like a super fair experience on the harder difficulties but the problem is if you bump it down to easier difficulties it's just far too easy Ireland, and a good save there by the Turkish goalkeeper. 26 minutes in and only one shot for each team. It's quite a tame start. They go for it. Saved again. Ireland have had a lot of shots. But Turkey being strong at the back. Somehow going behind. And oh, we still got the ball back. Look at this defending here from Ireland. And oh, just over the bar there. So it's half time. And um, despite a lot of shots from Ireland. And a few from Turkey. Still nil-nil. Through ball. Oh, that's right through the middle, and that's a goal. That's 1-0 to Turkey over Ireland. Fast start from the first half, and that is 1-0. Through ball. Oh, here we go. Go on. Yes, that's 2-0. Fantastic. And it's Unal, or however you pronounce it, right? And um, that is 2-0. Your Maz crosses that one in. No header. We got it here, edge of the box. And, oh, we scored the power shot. Lovely. And that is 3-0. And, well, I don't know who this dude is, but he scores. And that is 3-0. I still have it. Go on. <laughs> okay, that's 4-0. And it's the captain, Chalinogu, with the goal. Chalinogu or Chalinogu? Am I saying it right? Am I saying it wrong? Lots of people say I say names wrong on this channel, like, all the time. I know, I know. <laughs> I know, I'm stupid. I tell you what, you know, we got to go for it, right? We're 4-0 up with literal seconds left on the clock. Goalkeeper whips it in. Header off the post. Imagine if the goalkeeper got an assist. Uh, that's fine, though. It is 4-0 to Turkey. What a result here for the Turkish and they will collect the three points and a massive goal difference in the first match. So after the first game, Turkey have won and Belgium and Spain drew 2-2. So that's even better for us. Next match for Turkey is going to be against Belgium, a slightly tougher opponent than uh, Republic of Ireland. So we'll have to see what we can do against Belgium. Go on, through ball. And oh, good save. Gula. And they just... Mops it up there. In a couple of my runs, uh, Wout Vaze has really been a brick wall. So he's probably going to be a brick wall in this 
gameplay as well. It's half time and still the sides cannot be separated. So, I mean, this is good for Turkey because even a draw will still leave us uh, at the top of the table, either first or second, depending on the Spain match. So, you know, four points will still be enough to gal the group. It's all been about Belgium. But Turkey have somewhat hold on well. Um, our goalkeeper's doing most of the work. Oh, that was a really good ball. Come on. Push forward. Is there a goal here? Yes, there is. Turkey have taken the lead. And the ball to Uno was really, really good. Like, it just found that gap. And he was able to run on through. And that is 1-0. Come on, Turkey. Oh, ball roll and good save. But again, one of those situations where the goalkeeper saves it. And it palms out to another player. Okay, well, it's 1-1 and Tielemans has equalised for Belgium. He shot. I went in for the tackle and it's a foul. Come on. Like, De Bruyne on the end of a free kick, of course. It's going to go flying into the top corner, isn't it? You just know it is. Yeah. How did I predict it? Because it's De Bruyne, isn't it? And De Bruyne scores to make it 2-1 to Belgium again. Another match where I get BS'd out of a win. Oh, decent header. And we scored. Is that going to be? It's onside. And Turkey have rescued it. It's 2-2. I can't believe that was onside. I honestly thought that was off. But who cares? 2-2. We've rescued it. And the Turkish are going wild in the stands. So we drew against Belgium 2-2. And that's still a good result. Despite the you know goals we conceded in that match because it means we get four points and four points is usually enough to go through even in third place so this is how your table's looking after the second round of matches turkey are still top spain are joint top but just below on goal difference belgium have two points and ireland have zero so final match of the group and it's against spain the toughest match of the whole group you go for finesse again. Off the top of the bar. The finesse shots are pretty good from Turkey so far. Here comes Spain into the middle. I can't get a player on him. And again, oh, again, that kind of goal happens again. Morata scores to make it 1-0. But the thing that annoys me the most, keeper will save it and it'll just go straight to another striker. Through ball. Oh, that's just too easy. Look at that. We're through. Is there a chance? Yes, there is. It's 1-1. That is so easy to do on this game. Well, most of the time, unless the defence cuts it out. But when they don't cut it out, it's just super easy to do that. Oh, this is a good chance. Yes, Turkey, come on. And that's 2-1. Come on, that was a good goal. Great challenge there to deny Spain running down the wing. And hopefully we're going to half time with this 2-1. Uh, I'll oh, just stay there by the keeper. I fought for a second. I might have jinxed it. 2-1 and a half time to Turkey. And we're looking good. Look at this. Yilmaz running on through. It's just too easy sometimes. And that's off the post. Yeah, there we go. We won against Spain 2-1 in the most normal result I've ever seen on this TLC. Most of the time it's like 5-4, 6-5, you know, totally unrealistic results. But that was actually one of the most realistic ones. So yeah, Turkey go through to the round of 16. So that's your final table. Turkey and Belgium automatically go through. It remains to be seen if Spain go through as the best third place team. So we have some results for you in the round of 16. Portugal beat Sweden 3-1. France beat Albania 3-1. And uh, Scotland beat Northern Ireland 4-0. And Belgium beat Switzerland 2-1. We've got Wales for our next match, Serbia versus Germany as well in our bracket. Ukraine beat Spain 3-1 and Italy beat Slovakia by two goals to one. Next up then in the round of 16, we have Wales. A very good chance to potentially go through to the quarterfinals. I'm not underestimating Wales because I've actually played as Wales in a what-if scenario and they weren't actually too bad. Oh, look at this. Great play. And that's 1-0 already. We literally just like basically just phased our way through the whole entire Welsh defence and scored. It was a bit cheesy, but you know, the computer does it to me all the time. That's 1-0. Oh, that's a good ball by Wales, but they sky it over the bar. 
Just need a bit more composure in front of net to get back into the game. How am I not tackling Wales here? Come on. Oh, that's a good ball, but the shot was a weak one. Half time, it's 1-0 to Turkey. You know what? I think that we could potentially finish this game if we get one more goal. That was a hell of a ball and overhead kick by Wilson. Who does he think he is? Gareth Bell? No. Oh, good save. Wales are knocking on the door, but they just cannot knock down the door, I say. <laughs> so, I mean, long it may continue until the 90th minute. But, yeah, I'm just a little bit fearful about Wales at the moment. Oh, look at this. Come on. That was so exploitable, by the way. And yes, that's 2-0 and Kalinogu has scored to make it 2-0. That will probably be game over. The captain has scored for Turkey and will be going to the quarterfinals. Booted away by Turkey and that is going to be game over. 2-0 against Wales in the round of 16 and Turkey advanced to the quarterfinals. So this is how it's looking like for your quarterfinals. Portugal versus France, Scotland versus Belgium, Turkey versus Serbia after Serbia beat Germany 2-1 and then we got Ukraine versus Italy. So next up we have Serbia which is way better than having Germany in the quarterfinals. It gives us a slightly more realistic chance of advancing to the semis. However, do not underestimate Serbia. They are really good on this game. And crossed in, it's headed, and yeah, okay, nobody wanted to do with that. I know what's coming, I know what's coming. Serbia have scored to make it 1-0, and, well, I mean, yeah, it's just crossed in, and I missed the initial challenge on the wing anyway, and um, Milenkovic Savic has scored to make it 1-0. Go on, through ball, yeah, we're through. Can we do it? Yes, we can, it's 1-1. And uh, it took us a while, but we got back in the game. And that has shown that Turkey can sort of compete with Serbia as long as we get that random through ball that lets the striker go all the way through. And here we go. Oh, that was a good pass. And saved by the goalkeeper. So at half time, it's 1 1 between Turkey and Serbia. A really tough game for Turkey, I feel. Serbia played with so much intensity in that first half. I'm hoping that in the second half, it kind of dies out a little bit and then we can get into the game a bit more i can't actually physically tackle serbia every time i go in for the ball that sort of stuff happens and then we'll lose the ball really quickly it's really frustrating like there we'll just lose it immediately 82nd minute come on push forward no the player in the field just randomly got back and, oh, that's a good ball. Is that going to be game over? It is game over. I knew it. We couldn't get out of our own half. And, of course, Milenkovic Savic has won the game. Every time, man. Every time. There's certain matches on this game where, you know, you'll be penned in your own half forever. Come on. Come on. This is our final opportunity. We need to score this. Oh, of course we don't. Of course we don't. No, we've lost this match. Oh, that's so frustrating. Another match lost against Serbia. I mean, I'm not, like, you know, disrespecting Serbia. They are a good team. But I wish we got gotten more out of this run. I just wish we got a little bit more out of this run. But Serbia take the victory in the dying minutes of the game yet again on another run. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of your Turkey run today. I'm sorry I couldn't push Turkey further. I thought I could, but um, sadly I couldn't, unfortunately. Your semi-finals are really random. You've got France versus Scotland and Serbia versus Italy, which is uh, kind of cool, I guess. I kind of hope for a Scotland and Serbia final. That would be really awesome. If you did enjoy this run, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.